What's going on, everybody? Mortem here, this time answering the question, what is the worst game I've ever played? As someone who reviews a lot of games, that is a question that I will sometimes get, and I, of course, decided to answer that today. And the simple answer to that question, which we will, of course, elaborate upon, is Dragon's Prophet. Now, this was actually an MMO that released, I believe it was back in 2012, 2013, something like that. However, while I would love to have actually jumped into the game and gotten footage for it to show you, it actually shut down because of, as you might imagine, poor performance. So I believe the US servers were shut down in 2015 and then the EU servers were shut down in 2020. Now it is still possible to play the game through things like private servers, etc. But that seemed like a lot of hoops to jump through when there's plenty of trailers that I can show off how they marketed this game to begin with. Now to kick this video off, I will throw this game a bone. I am aware that there are people who enjoyed the title. Obviously, I really didn't. That said, the core concept was interesting enough. Dragon's Prophet saw you essentially acting like a Pokemon trainer for dragons, and you would have a dragon companion with you. There was, like, I believe it was like 300-something dragons in total, some of which were really stretching the definition of dragon, but whatever. Of those dragons, there were subtypes, and they would essentially act as animal companions. On top of that, the actual combat, believe it or not, was terrible. It had an action combat system that was decent enough to lean into. Now, the problem was that every other part of the game was a bad time. We're talking performance. The game played like absolute garbage. It looked incredibly dated from the moment it was released, and the gameplay was by and large not good. Again, the combat was actually okay. The end game even had a sort of siege PvP system you could engage with, which was cool enough. The problem was the rest of it. For starters, the leveling experience was just terrible for like the first 20 levels or so. A lot of it is just the most of vapid stuff you could think of. Go here, kill 10 boars, very standard MMO stuff. And I would say that was probably the nail in the coffin for Dragon's Prophet, because where they had an interesting concept, they did nothing with it beyond the dragons. Everything else was the most standard MMO gameplay you could probably imagine. The story itself was decent, but it was a game that struggled with just the bare bones basics of an MMO. Now this was a free-to-play title, actually, so you didn't actually have to pay anything to jump in, but we did run into some pay-to-win style problems. There were, of course, pay-to-unlock dragons that were naturally pretty much the best you could get. You could get comparable dragons that, after training them for a long time, could eventually reach those levels, but it definitely had some pay-to-win elements. And if the fact that the game was actually shut down isn't proof enough for you, the entire experience just wasn't great couple of good ideas, the rest of it was just terrible. Again, the game ran like hot garbage. There was way too much RNG down to your stats. The dragons themselves would have some variants. You had to tame the dragons, by the way. There was this whole sort of like Pokemon-esque system where you actually had to tame them, which was essentially like a little mini game. And whether or not those dragons were any good was pretty well down to chance as well. That, as you might imagine, paying real money would fix for you, at least to some degree. It was still kind of RNG. But yeah, just to quickly summarize and wrap this video up so I'm not just ranting into it, Dragon's Prophet is the worst game I've ever played. The concept around the dragons was novel enough to get people interested and check it out, and the combat was decent. But then you ran into things like essentially the fact that it was a free-to-play game and the people who weren't playing were at a pretty big disadvantage, just down to convenience stuff or just straight up pay to win in some cases in terms of the dragons themselves. The game did not run very well. The world itself was just very bland and generic. It just didn't have enough unique going on outside the pitch of the dragons to do anything. Which is, what you might imagine, for all the reasons listed, why it shut down. There was actually a sequel to it that was more like Dragon's Prophet 1.5, called, I believe it was like Savage Hunt or something like that, that also failed for the same reasons. But yeah, there you guys go. Hope I wasn't too rambly for you. For me personally, the worst game I've ever played. I'm sure there are some people down in the comments who will throw out the classics, such as Ride to Hell Retribution. So instead of that, I would actually love to to hear what your favorite games are down in the comment section below. But regardless of any of that, truly, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.